277 yards, zero touchdowns, and failed to convert on that play, a two-point conversion at the end of the game that would have tied it. And, and so there, every week is a referendum on Dak Prescott, and that's sort of the situation you put yourself in when you decide I'm going to bet on myself, I'm not going to take a deal, and I'm going to play this thing out and try and become the highest-paid quarterback in the league. I didn't have a problem with him doing that. But what do we wake up this morning and say about Dak Prescott off of that performance? I've got big-time concerns because you go on the road, yes, depleted, against an 0-4 football team. And if you're going to ask for 35 to $40 million, you find a way to win that football game. It's, it is black and white for me. If you're going to bet on yourself, this is a game you cannot lose. I don't care if I'm playing wide receiver for you. And so the question continues to remain around Dak Prescott. Are you good enough when I pay you that $35 million and I don't have 10 more million extra? Are you good enough to raise the level of the people around you to make sure we don't lose this football game? Is and he? right now the question is, the answer is no. Rex, is he, no, is I, he good enough? I've always felt that no, he's not worth that money. You know how I felt that I would have run there and said, give me that pin and sign it. Let's go to, you know, let's go. But he bet on himself because there's, there's nobody out there. He, so he's thinking, hey, I can break the bank and all this stuff. But it's a mistake. Sign the darn contract and move on and – Quite honestly, he's not the guy in their team. The best player is, is the running back. Right. They got him signed. Okay. Then your next best player is that left tackle. You saw what he meant to you. Yes. You know, in they that played game. that game. Are we being unfair to Dak then, if you're going to bring that up, that he played the game without his left tackle? His best wide receiver, Amari Cooper, played three snaps and went to the bench with a quad. Uh, are we being unfair to Dak? Hey, yeah, like always. You're unfair, but get, you sign up for it. If you're the quarterback and the head coach, right. you're going to take every bullet right now. I don't think we're being unfair. I mean, he didn't go on the road to play the New England Patriots. That wasn't like, the 85 again, Bears? I, 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 I said before the game that the Jets' defense was going to challenge them. But it, this is an 0-4 football team, and this is a team with the New York Jets, and this is a team with the Cowboys that has Super Bowl aspirations, and you only created more questions. Yeah, that's true. But here's what I'm going to say to fans of the Dallas Cowboys, and there are lots of them. You shouldn't be as devastated by this loss as you probably are because the Jets are much better than they have appeared. They played the last two games with an NFL – literally, I hate to say this, he's, he's a kid and he's trying as hard as he can. He's not an NFL quarterback. They activated Luke Falk off their practice squad. They released him <laughs> on Saturday before this game. He was their starting quarterback in their last two games. They had no chance. The Jets might genuinely not have had a chance against no, a really I, good I, college I, team I disagree, with him I, as their I, quarterback. Oh, Dan, they had no chance. I agree with the Jets' point. I don't yeah. agree with the Cowboys' point because here's the difference. We've seen the quarterbacks – like Russell Wilson yesterday went on the road to Cleveland and dealt with a lot of things that, I mean, they go down 20 to 6 on the road. They're not playing well, but he's good enough to elevate everyone else around him to find a way to win the football game. Deshaun Watson yesterday That's... was good enough the way he played to right. elevate his play and to do what it took to win the football game. And Dak. Did it, and we're waiting for Dak to do it, and he hasn't. Here, here's, I agree with everything you Absolutely. just said. Absolutely, my comment is not about Dak. About he is Jack. merely that good. It's about the Cowboys. They're, this loss is not one that you should say to yourself, "It's to fire the coach and change everything because we lost this game." I completely agree with you. There were two quarterbacks on the field in the Jets-Cowboys game yesterday. There isn't any question which one is better. Right. The right. guy on the Jets is better. That, right. that's, that, you wouldn't have to have ever seen a football game Sam Darnold game made four plays yesterday that. in that game that Dak cannot make. Not that he didn't make, that Dak cannot make. Well, there's a make. reason why one guy was taken in the fourth round and one guy should have been the first overall pick. Well, then that, that would take us to someplace else. So, now let me go on the clock here because I have a bunch of quick hitters coming out of yesterday in the NFL. Let's start with Deshaun Watson outdueling Patrick Mahomes yesterday. Yesterday. We'll phrase it that way. At the end of the day, Mahomes is barely on the field. 60 seconds on the clock. If you have to vote for MVP right now, is Deshaun Watson get your vote? No, Christian McCaffrey still gets my vote. He's still consistently the best player doing the most that is asked of him. But listen, this is a very tight four-man race. It's McCaffrey, it's Mahomes, it's Russell Wilson, and Watson. I will say this. I said last week that the, that Watson and Mahomes were closer, and I think Watson, Russell Wilson, and Mahomes, because of the performance by Watson and Russell Wilson this weekend, are even closer than we thought. Who gets yeah, your vote? I, Russell Wilson gets my vote. 
and, and you saw it right there. What's the difference between those quarterbacks? That was the difference in who won the game and who lost the game in Cleveland, let alone the horrible officiating. Right. But Baker Mayfield can't make a throw in the red zone. Russell Wilson, that's all he does. A smaller quarterback and all that, but he's the leader. At no point in that game did I feel that Seattle wasn't in the game. So uh, that would be my vote. Deshaun Watson, though, he's ridiculous. And, yeah. and you're right. Those are two other guys should have gone uh, with the first overall pick. Should have been a fist fight for Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. And, and, and But you know that the Bears traded up to take Mitchell Trubisky ahead of, of both did. of them. What do you think of that? Of course they did. Yeah, awful move. Yeah. I mean, you know, and, and that's the thing. Look, Dabo Sweeney said it best when he said about Deshaun Watson. He's You're going to be Jordan. passing on Michael Jordan. And right now, Mitch Trubisky, uh, that's Sam Bowie. Oh, that's well played. Okay, next. On the same game, Chiefs have now, in three consecutive weeks, they've struggled. Detroit put out a blueprint. Colts beat them doing it. Texans beat them doing it. Are the Chiefs in serious trouble? 60 seconds, go. Yeah, because their greatest weapon is being hindered. Their greatest weapon, 15, is being put on the bench. And the thing that would concern me the most is now the blueprint has been executed twice differently against me. The Colts did it strictly by pounding the football and keeping Mahomes off the field. And the Texans did it by running the football and then the dink and dunk pass game. And I mentioned it before. I was part of the Texans doing this to Peyton Manning. How do you beat Peyton Manning? You keep him on the bench. Right now, teams are making it very clear. How do you beat Patrick Mahomes and this Kansas City Chiefs? You keep him on the bench. And they've done it two different ways. Well, I don't believe they're in trouble on making the playoffs and winning the AFC West. But that's looked, not the question. Average as heck. This is but a no. Super Bowl or bust team. No, they're not going to win the Super Bowl with the, that defense. That's the, you know, the you've got to be able to stop people when the snow flies in, in December. And they, they can't do it. They can't stop a nosebleed. That's the question is will they be able to outscore everybody they have to play There's no chance. in January? But, they, no. but, but right now, they because of the teams realizing it's not about outscoring the Chiefs. It's about making sure you limit their opportunity to score. That's the biggest thing, and teams have done it two different ways. All right, one more that uh, if you were watching the NFL yesterday, you couldn't help but notice it. I, I don't love talking about the officiating, but it's a huge part uh. of the story. I have a stat. There have been 16% more penalties called so far this NFL season than in any other year on record. My question is, what can we do about the ridiculous number of penalties being called in NFL games? Rex. Don't throw the flags. Sow the, sow the flags in their pocket. Leave them in the dang locker room. It's awful. You're, you're there to protect the players, number one. And then, hey, guess what? If there's an, a, a horrible call, then you throw it. If not, let the guys play. The fans, here's, here's the thing. They want to watch the players play. They don't want to watch these guys in stripes. And, and look, have we lost a ton of our officials? We have. And, and right now, it's like, Come on, don't ruin our game. Yeah, For you, goodness sakes, don't ruin our game. Usually the pursuit of perfection is good. Right now it's bad for officiating. They're trying to be perfect with everything. And if it looks like a flag or if it looks like PI or if it looks like holding, they're throwing the flag. Flag. This should be an obvious thing. Oh, that that there was it, there is no dispute that that defender got there early or there's no dispute that that wide receiver shoved that defender if it's obvious throw the flag if it's not stop trying to pursue perfection in listen that. in what will have been the most watched game of the day Cowboys Jets when it was all coming down in the most climactic moment they called penalties on six consecutive uh. plays it was almost unwatchable L, let's get up and go I was gonna say that takes us right to Marcus Mariota's